Parallels Desktop for Chromebook Enterprise. Today I'll showcasing how I'm using my Chromebook with Microsoft products and other applications that I might have. So first and foremost, this particular presentation, I'm not running from a Windows device. In fact, I'm running from my Chromebook. So as you can see, I just switched from full screen mode to window mode. And from here, I can switch back and forth slides or just go back to full screen mode, depending how you want to use Parallels Desktop. And if I hit escape here, I can go back to my deck and create a new one from scratch. And here, what I wanted to tell you how it works is very simple. You can use your applications the way you want and leverage the integration between the Windows Virtual Machine and Chrome OS. One of them is about printing. So you can print and redirect automatically your you know, print outputs to your home printer or work printers as you have that are already mapped in your Chrome device. The second part is how you can save files in Windows or together Windows and Chrome OS. To showcase that is very simple. We go to files in Chrome OS and they'll allow the downloads folder to be shared with my virtual machine, share with Parallels Desktop. Let's say I don't want to share anymore. You can just go to Manage Parallels Desktop Sharing and disable that feature. What happens in the virtual machine, it's automatic redirection. We just go back to Browse and let's go to my computer and I'll look for my files on Chrome OS. Double click and then I can go to Downloads and save my presentation. save. Now the presentation was saved on the Chrome OS, so I can just go back to files, go to my downloads folder, and here it is. The other way around works as well. You can download a file to your downloads folder using Chrome OS, and that will be automatically shared with your virtual machine. Another use case that I like to showcase, it's using Excel. So and also the ability to do dynamic resizing and resolution here, as you can see on your screen. So going to Excel, let me just uh, go back to my sheet over here. And I have, in fact, the ability to open any Excel files that you work on Windows. So if you create a pivot table, use pivot tables as you need, you will be able to play them and use them in this particular setup. So that's pretty much a few features that I wanted to showcase in this short video. If you want additional information, come to parallels.com slash chrome.